Okay, function f is defined such that for all x values greater than or equal to zero, the line y equals three is a horizontal asymptote. So let's make a quick sketch. Here's x and y, and y equals three is a horizontal asymptote. So which of the following must be true? Okay, f of three is undefined. So f of three is the value of the function at x equals three. The fact that this is a horizontal asymptote means that the graph must approach this line without touching it, but it doesn't tell us anything about the value of the function at x equals three. There could be a hole in the graph right here, or there could be a vertical asymptote right there. We don't know, and it doesn't matter. This fact is unrelated to the value of the function at, at f equals three. So choice A may or may not be true. So that's not an answer to our question. All right, B, f of x is not equal to three for all x values greater than or equal to zero. Okay, B, B is the tricky part. B is not necessarily true. If, if this is an asymptote, the graph approaches three without crossing three eventually, but it may cross this line before it makes its final approach. It may do something like this, and it may cross the, the line y equals three and then approach it asymptotically. It may even cross it a few times and then approach it asymptotically. The fact that y equals three means that the graph eventually approaches that y value without crossing, but it may equal three. The graph may have a value of three at some point prior to that asymptotic approach. So we rule out choice B also. Choice C, the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x is equal to three. That is true. If, if y equals three is a horizontal asymptote, then this graph must eventually approach that graph without crossing it, which means that at some point way out here, we could keep our y value sufficiently close to three by keeping our x value sufficiently large. So choice C is correct. And choice C is the only choice that must be true.